Lashley ready and waiting. Will he lock it in? Her lock. He's got the her lock in on Brock Lesnar. Bobby Lashley has the hurt lock in on Brock Lesnar. Is he going to become a two-time WWE champion right now? Lesnar trying to break it. He doesn't look like he can. MVP is excited. Come on, Bobby. I mean, I'm rooting for Seth Rollins here, but I think it is likely, most likely for Lesnar to win. But no, the WWE champion, Big E. Break it up. Up top. He's got Lashley up. Big ending. Cover. No. Go for Lesnar and all. No way, big end into Lesnar, no, down, counters, up on the shoulders, Brock Lesnar, F5 to Big E, 1, 2, 3, no way, oh my god, Brock Lesnar has just won the WWE Championship. Ladies and gentlemen, your new WWE Champion, Brock Lesnar. He was coming in to day one to challenge for the Universal title and he is leaving day one as the WWE Champion. What does this mean for the future? Are we going to get Lesnar versus Reigns? For both championships? I mean, that seems like the most likely option now, right? Lesnar and Reigns to unify the titles. I don't know, but guys, for the first time since WrestleMania 36, Brock Lesnar is the WWE Champion. What a match. That was, that was a really good match. I really enjoyed that. It wasn't too long. It was absolutely... Full speed ahead from the opening bell. I had Rollins down to win. Rollins, my favourite. I had I've, I had him to win for at least the last week or so. But the moment Lesnar was added to this match, I knew I had a feeling Big E wasn't walking away as WWE champion, and neither was Kevin Owens, Bobby Lashley, or Seth Rollins. But what a match, I enjoyed it. We got a little taste of Lesnar versus Lashley finally. But at the end of the day, Brock Lesnar is still, or you're, sorry, Brock Lesnar is the new WWE Champion. I've been Joe from Joe's Wrestling. You guys have been awesome. I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.